हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम बी सेफ एट होम टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ एनिमल किंगडम ऑफ एलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एनालिडा अर्थ्रोपोडा मोलस्का एंड इकाइनोडर्माटा सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेशन विथ सैलियंट फीचर्स ऑफ एनालिडा Enalida are commonly called as segmented worms. They may be aquatic, either marine or freshwater, or terrestrial, and they may be free living or parasite. The segmented worms have organ system level of organization. The symmetry is bilateral in enalids, and they are. triplo blastic they are coelomate and the body is soft elongated cylindrical or sometime flattened it is divided into segments or metamers by ring like circular muscles that helps in locomotion aquatic forms like nereis have simple unjointed locomotory appendages that is called the parapodia on the sides of the body and this parapodia helps in swimming a closed circulatory system has appeared some blood vessels are elongated to act as pumping hearts the blood is red with hemoglobin dissolved in plasma the excretion and osmoregulation is done with the help of nephridia so what is the excretory organ the excretory organ is nephridia the nervous system consists of paired ganglia connected by a lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord the sexes may be separate as in nereis or united as in earthworm and leeches reproduction is sexual in most of the cases but in some cases asexual reproduction takes place by budding or fission common annelids are nereis earthworm leech etc here you can observe the different members of enalida in this figure you may observe nereis earthworm and leech now let us see about the salient features of arthropoda arthropoda is the largest phylum which includes insects the arthropods have organ system level of organization the symmetry is again bilateral in arthropods the arthropods develop from three germ layers hence they are triploblastic means they have ectoderm mesoderm as well as endoderm they are also segmented and coelomate animals the body wall consists of a thick chitinous cuticle and a single layered epidermis body is divided into head thorax and abdomen in case of arthropoda the appendages are jointed this is one of the very important characteristic features of the members of arthropoda respiration may occur through gills book lungs book gills or through tracheal system tracheal system carry oxygen direct to the cells the circulatory system is of open type that is the blood flows in hemocell instead of blood vessels the blood is called as hemolymph why it is called as hemolymph because it is colorless that contains white blood corpuscles sensory organs like antenna eye eye may be simple or compound statocyst or balance organs are present excretion takes place by malpighian tubules 
सेक्सेस इन आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स आर सेपरेट एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन इज इंटरनल मोस्ट आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स आर ओवी पेरस मीन्स दिले एक्स एंड डेवलपमेंट मे बी डिरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट सम आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स आर ऑफ ग्रेट इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस लाइक हनी बीज सिल्क वॉम्स एंड लैक इंसेक्ट्स सम आर्थ्रोपोर्ट्स आर वेक्टर लाइक एनोफेलस क्यूलेक्स एंड एड्स मॉस्किटोस सम आर ग्रिगेरियस पेस्ट लाइक लोकस्ट विच काउजेज ग्रेट डैमेज टू अवर क्रॉप प्लांट्स लिमिलस दैट इज किंग क्रैब इज ए मेम्बर ऑफ आर्थ्रोपोर्ट विच इज द लिविंग फॉसिस in the given figure you may observe different members of arthropoda here also you can observe different species of arthropods now another phylum is mollusca mollusca is the second largest phylum they may be terrestrial or aquatic either marine or fresh water the molluscans have organ system level of organization the symmetry is generally bilateral in mollusca and are triploblastic they are also coelomate animals body of molluscans are covered by a calcareous cell and the body is usually differentiated into three regions that is anterior head with sense organs dorsal visceral hump and ventral muscular foot for locomotion a soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump and the space between the hump and mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather like gills are present and this feather like gills helps in excretion as well as respiration at the anterior head region sensory tentacles are present the mouth contains a file like rasping organs for feeding called radula which uh, that radula have transverse rows of teeth sexes are usually separate that is dioecious fertilization may be external or internal and a sexual reproduction is lacking so only sexual reproduction is seen they are oviparous with direct with indirect development means intermediate that larval stage is present common examples of mollusca are apple snail pearl oyster cuttlefish squid devil fish sea hare tusk seal chiton etc in the given figure you may observe the different members of molluscans here also it is about different molluscans now let us see about the next phylum that is echinodermata echinodermata have an endoskeleton that is made up of calcareous ossicles they are marine with organ system level of organization the symmetry is radial in adults and bilateral in larva this is important characteristic features of echinodermata what is that adults are radial symmetry whereas larva is the bilateral symmetry the echinoderms are triploblastic animals with a true coelom digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower that is ventral side and anus on the upper dorsal side in case of echinodermata there is presence of water vascular system with tube feet and that helps in locomotion it also helps in capturing and transporting of food and in respiration there are no excretory organs sexes are separate that is dioecious sexual reproduction occurs with external fertilization development in echinodermata is indirect with free swimming larva and common examples of echinodermata are starfish sea urchin sea lily sea cucumber and brittle star in this figure you may observe various echinodermata species here also you may have a look of asteris holothuria echinus antidon 
and of your dharma so children this is all about today's session thank you and for any kind of doubts please write your question in comment section